Is there an easy and smart way to deal with bills of materials in a data table format? The answer is absolutely. Hi everyone, I'm Silvia, and today I'll show you how to perform, in just a few clicks, three operations with bills of materials in a data table. Bill of materials, or BOMs, as they're commonly known, list all the components or materials that make up a finished product. Let's take a bike, which is made up of many components. Well, a bike has two wheels. Each wheel has a tire, rim, spokes, and so on. Bombs can be viewed as hierarchies. A bike is made up of a row seat, a frame, a chain, and wheels. Wheels in turn are made up of tires and spokes. To build up a bicycle we also need to know the quantities of each component. For example, a bike has two wheels and each wheel has 36 spokes. But a bike has two wheels, not one. So to calculate the total quantity of spokes we need to multiply the 36 spokes by 2. It might look easy, but in reality, a bomb looks more like this. Our bomb is made up of 73 components and 3 levels. We can analyze bombs to make the whole manufacturing process more cost effective. For example, by identifying which materials have the greatest impact on product cost. But to analyze bombs, we need to view these hierarchical structures into flat spreadsheets, which can get pretty confusing. But as we will see in the video, Rulex has some neat solutions. Let's take a closer look. Here is a typical bomb spreadsheet, which lists all the components need to build a top-of-the-range bicycle. There are five columns, but the most important ones are the component ID and parent component ID. So if the component is spoke, the parent component is wheel. The component in row 2 is a seat assembly and its parent is 749, which as we can see in row 1 is the finished product, as it doesn't have a parent. In row 3, we can see the red frame for our bike, whose parent is also the final product, our bicycle. As each row has not only information on the component itself, but also on its parent component. We can use a special function in Rulex, which automatically calculates how many parent levels each component has. So, let's create a new column called BOM Level. And use a special function in Rulex, which automatically calculates how many parent level each component has. We just need to tell Rulex which attribute is the parent and which is the child. As you can see, for the finished product, the bomb level is zero, because we are already at the highest level of the hierarchy. We can then see all the intermediate levels up to three. So the maximum depth of our bill of materials in this example is three. Let's now perform a typical cost analysis operation on our bill of materials. 
to understand which components have the greatest impact on the overall cost. We already have the cost here in the standard cost column. This cost might be the price at which you are purchasing materials from your supplier or, if it's manufactured in-house, it might be the sum of all the related manufacturing costs. Now the tricky part. Here we cannot simply multiply the quantity by the standard cost. As this cost states how many components we need to build the pairing component but not for the whole finished product. To calculate the total quantity, we'll create again a new column called total quantity. And again, Use the root distance function but this time add in the quantity attribute as weight and then tell the function To multiply the results by the weight using the prod operator. And there you go! Now we can calculate the total cost in a new column. Here, we only need to multiply the total quantity by the standard cost. Well, that's great. But if you like to take it one step further, we can find out what percentage of the overall cost is spent on each component. So we can create another column called percentage we can divide the total cost for each component by the sum of all components costs and then change data type to percentage There you go, now just sort the column in descending order. So, we can now see our final list of critical components. Can this information help us reduce costs, you may ask? Well, it depends on the way these components are procured inside the company. If they are purchased from external suppliers, we should talk to the purchasing department. Tell them which components are most critical and ask them to get a better deal. If they are manufactured in-house, we should talk to production or R&D to find a way to streamline the process and reduce manufacturing costs. Well, that's it for today. Look out for our next Rulex Quick Fix, visit our website and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>